Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I am one of your hosts, Kevin Hub. This is the other, Averin Lefebvre. And this is the Angry Snowboarder Podcast. This is now episode 12. Yes. And this is a special episode. We're doing the special 20 questions edition of That's right. the podcast. 20 questions submitted across Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, direct message, uh, emailed in, or even uh, yelled at me in lift lines. Not really. Oh, I was going to say, which one of those was it? <laughs> I don't know, but that would be amazing. That would be great. I, I got recognized today at happy hour, and I was Ooh. not stoked. I, I was eating food, and it was just some French guy, and he's like, you are the angry snowboarder. And I was like, food, and talking to my friends, Jay and Doug, and I was just like, sure, whatever you want. And just turned <laughs> right around. It was like, awkward. But yes. Yeah. So, so there is that. Uh, let's see. Big news since the last podcast: the passing of Jake Burton. Yep. Uh, it's a sad day for snowboarding. It is. I it cried. We would not be, dude. None of us would be what we're doing without Jake. Let's put it this way. Yeah. This right here. Mm -hmm. Kevin and I wouldn't know each other. Nope. You wouldn't be listening to this. I wouldn't know my girlfriend. I would still be in New York, and I'd be fat. I probably would be at a desk job at this point in my life. Hating life. Probably. Hating life. Not having your wiener to play with. No. Wouldn't have my wiener to play with. Um, let's see. What else? Basically all the bad things that could have gone in our life would have gone. I wouldn't know any... I, I realize like, I have no friends from when I grew up anymore because I just stopped talking to those people because a lot of them just sucked. And... So I would have nothing. My whole life is snowboarding, so mm -hmm. everything here wouldn't exist. Uh, yeah, it was a really sad fucking day. Yeah, I woke up and saw Ed from Bula Loco had posted something. I was like, I hit him up, and I know he's distraught, so he didn't say anything. So I texted Pat Morgan from Big Boulder, and he's like, yeah, it happened last night. And I was like, fuck! And, uh, yeah, it, it was really rough, and then I left from here from the – and went over to the underground here in Breck and or at their hometown here. I was like, well, if Jake's passed. I'm going to go ride that. And it was snowing all day. It was heavy, wet snow. And just, like, didn't want to think about it because we've lost Tom, Sherman, and Jake. Right. Like, those are, th I mean. Those are kind of the three grandfathers. Three, I mean, Chuck's, Chuck's still alive. Yeah. And uh, there's a few there's other. A, yeah, there's a few other, like, definitely, like, stalwart important people. But Yeah. It was just yeah. a big day, and the outpouring from the snowboard community and everyone, oh, and was, how many people. It was, uh, yeah. when I was talking to Leanne at Underground, she's like, I, I turned off all social media today. She goes, I, I would lose my shit. And I was like, yeah, well, I already lost it a few times today. Yeah. It was a very introspective day for me. It, I was at work. So, yeah, I, I was mean, in bed hard. when I found out about it, and I wasn't planning on riding. I was going to work on some projects, and I was like, I just, I just, I just want to fucking go ride. Yeah. So that's a sad day. I hope the Carpenter Burton Carpenter family is doing okay. I hope everyone at Burton is doing it, and just you know, mm -hmm. build on what the man created. But realistically, snow snowboarding as we know it would not exist without Jake. Not so, even close. He didn't just create an industry, he created a lifestyle. I mean, the fact that he got it so that there's only three resorts in the world that don't allow us. Yeah, that's a uh, that's massive, huge that's massive. huge thing to open that door yeah. and seeing all the funny stories of him from the eighties and stuff and like how he opened doors and what he was trying to do and yeah. everything was awesome. Absolutely fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, thank you for everything that he did. And I think snowboarding's in a better place from what he did. I mean, because obviously we wouldn't exist without it. But it's a, it's a sad day because that guy carried the torch for so long. Oh, yeah. And love him or hate him. I mean, that's the thing. There's a lot of people that don't like him. But yeah, you least respect him. Yeah. You can't fault the guy for having a passion and in a time when there's less and less originality or the ability to create something from scratch, totally. he was able to create something 
from scratch. And he was still rode as much as he possibly could. Yeah. As much as his health would allow, he was out there riding. So that alone deserves some credit. Yeah, so so there was that. Um, I think we'll probably dive deeper into this in the next podcast we do. Yeah. Because this one is all for the viewers, YouTube, and mm -hmm. on whatever podcast platform it actually shows up on. Because I can't figure out how to get it on iTunes or Spotify. So um, once I get that shit taken care of eventually at some point. Mm -hmm. Other news, I had my last day at the job day job which i the irony of this is the guy that replaced me was the guy i replaced <laughs> four years ago he came back and i worked his last shift before he left and he worked mine huh. so full circle on yeah. that one but yeah so doing that and then uh working on some other fun ideas trying to hash out this whole like areas to meet up and whatnot so We'll see about that and just trying to shred and going to be a few more product reviews coming out, uh, trying to get the binding reviews finished up, got something in the works leading up to the Black Friday live stream, which hopefully this podcast will go live in audio form on Monday. I don't think in video form it will go up till after Black Friday, yeah. but audio form for those people that are audiophiles. Uh, the other funny thing is the amount of people that are trying to take ownership of everything we've created and everything that I've created in this. That's the one that's been really... A lot of entitled-ass little bitches out there trying to say what what they want. And I was like, if you want it that bad, go fucking do it. Yeah. Like that. Also, definitely made a few people cry this past week, especially about Snowbird Reviews. Sorry if I take ownership of online snowboard reviews, but if you're going to have an inferior product, I'll call your ass out. Yeah. And if you want to sit there and argue with me when you haven't done shit, and you're going to show me a video of a LibTech Orca review where you go, um and ah, uh, 56 times in one minute, you're literally doing that every second. So, yeah, there's that. Uh... What about you? Anything new, fancy, and exciting in your world? Not drastically. The Jake thing is kind of the overarching feeling of the moment, for sure. Yeah, that fucking Wednesday was rough. Mm -hmm. Rough. Yeah, so that, that was a big one. But the snowboard family came together on that one. You yeah, see, you see it was it. genuinely nice. Like, scrolling through my Instagram, it was... You know, and I still... Like, I follow a lot of... You know, plenty of other stuff, running, biking, all that kind of stuff. But my feed was almost entirely posts about Jake. Yeah, so, Facebook was that for me. Like all yeah. my rep friends from east to west. Yep. You know, Every national, everyone had something to say. Yeah, it doesn't matter who they were working for, what brand it was, what yeah. their attachment was, anything. Everybody was yeah. on board. So, it was really cool to see, actually. Yeah, so I think that's it. But um, let's see. Other big news. Black Friday live stream, merchandise on the store will be returning hopefully for Black Friday. I should be able to pick it up Tuesday, Wednesday, so it's going to be really tight on if this got finished. I was told that it will be done, so mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping. If not, if I don't have it for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, but there'll be a deal on that. Uh, let's see, ridden a few other boards, rode the new Rome Agent, really like that. Rode the Warden today, rode the Concept from Nidecker. Uh, Going to get on a bunch more Capitas next week, hopefully, and maybe some Union stuff. And then, like I said, there's a special thing leading up to the Black Friday. So I think that's it. Yeah. And I guess we can dive into this podcast. Get into the questions. 